everybody's attention up here. Um, I'd like to formally welcome you to the 2023 uh, St. Lucie Public Schools Music in Our Schools concert. Um, my name is Mr. Uh, Wiley. I'm the high school band director at Port St. Lucie High School. Um, I've proudly been a product of St. Lucie Public Schools since I was a elementary student all the way up through high school. Um, and now after I got my degree, I'm back teaching in St. Lucie Public Schools. So this is a very special place to me. Um, tonight you're gonna hear our honor choir that you see coming on the stage. And you're going to hear, um, if you stick around, uh, the, the elementary percussion orf ensemble from per, uh, Mariposa Elementary. You're also gonna hear the middle school honor band featuring students from all over St. Lucie County and then as well as the high school honor band from students all over St. Lucie County. So um, without further ado, I'd like to introduce someone very special to all of us music educators here in St. Lucie County. Um, and he has been someone that has helped all of us and, and really drove the, the arts here in our district and um, give a big warm welcome for uh, Dr. Kevin Perry. Good evening. On behalf of our wonderful school board and our awesome superintendent, Dr. John R. Prince, but most of all, the 40,000 students that call St. Lucie Public Schools their home. In addition, I'd like to welcome you here on behalf of the wonderful student musicians that you will see tonight. Music positively impacts a child's academic performance, assists in developing social skills, and provides an outlet for creativity that is crucial to a child's development. Tonight, what you will witness is approximately 12 hours of strenuous rehearsals. That's a testament to the skill level, hard work, and professionalism of our students. It's also a testament to the knowledge, skill, and dedication of those wonderful music teachers. Whether you are a practicing musician or just a music lover, we really thank you for joining us here tonight. I would be remiss if I didn't take an opportunity to, do, to introduce some of our wonderful supporters, starting with our representative for our school board, Ms. Debbie Holly. Please stand, Ms. Holly. Please give her a round of applause. We work in a school district that really is rich and storied in supporting the arts. Also in the back of the room, I see two of my colleagues that share my suite with me. They are the executive directors and they are responsible for supervising schools. Ms. Latricia Willard and Mr. Daryl Kanamas. Stand up and wave at us, please. They're in the back. And without further ado, I give you our high school honor choir under the direction of Mr. Eric Martinez and Mr. Devon Hagens. Please welcome them to the stage.
protest for marching for the rights for African Americans. Enjoy.
you just applauded, but let's give another huge round of applause to the San Jose Public School Honor Choir. And a special applause to my colleague, Mr. Devon Higgins, amazing educator, great job, choir. Um, our next group to form, like I said, is the Orf Ensemble from Mariposa Elementary, uh, led by Miss Emily Morgan. Like I said a few moments ago, she was just granted or, or, or earned the first year Teacher of the Year Award in St. Louis County, which is a huge honor. Um, and it's just something so cool to see and, and hear where this all starts. Um, and to me, at, at this concert, having elementary school involvement is, is the most crucial part because this is where it all begins. Um, this is where kids start learning music and they start feeling the passion and the desire to go on. Um, and as, if you stick around through the whole evening, you see kind of like that, that uh, progression from start to finish. So uh, I'd like to welcome to the stage uh, the Orf Ensemble from Mariposa Elementary School, led by Miss Emily Morgan. Good evening, everyone. My name is Miss Emily Morgan, and I am the music specialist at Mariposa Elementary School and St. Lucie County Schools First Year Outstanding Teacher of the Year for 2023. Thank you. It brings me so much joy to be able to showcase the talent and hard work of these students to you all tonight. This is a group of fifth graders that were hand selected to participate in a music enrichment group that happens at the school uh, Mondays uh, through Thursday mornings from 8.30 to nine. So during those 30 minutes, doesn't seem like a lot of time, but we get a lot of stuff done. We are able to explore a lot more sophisticated musical concepts than you would usually see in an elementary school classroom, and we play lots of instruments, such as the ones you see next to me. We have three short songs for you all tonight, but I'm going to let the students introduce them. Our first student announcer is Mr. Blake Miranda. Hi, my name is Blake Miranda, and... Um, wait, what do I our first piece is titled Beethoven Overture, Ode to Joy. Ode to Joy is a special song for us monarchs because it is the heart of our school song. The Mariposa Pledge reminds everyone to follow and value our ABCD rules, which are A, for act responsibly, B, for be respectful, C, for create safety, and D, for do our best. We hope you enjoy our performance of Ode to Joy by Beethoven. Cindy Siegelbin. Our next song features the ukulele, an instrument native to Madeira, but most commonly played in the state of Hawaii. We will be doing a cover of a famous and familiar song by the band of Lumineers called Ho Hei. We hope you enjoy.
Fun fact about our ukulele journey so far, these students picked up this instrument um, about a month and a half ago with all of the time that we've had with spring break and stuff like that and, and testing conflict. So they have just started to pick up that instrument. And so this was one of the first songs that we learned. And so we wanted to showcase it for you all tonight. They pick up things really, really, really fast. They're very talented. I just wanted to take one last moment to thank you all again for your continued support for music in our schools. The well-rounded elementary music curriculum prepares our students to continue into any arts field, such as band, choir, drama, etc. Nothing that we do would be possible without the consistent support from our wonderful parents, fellow teachers, administrators, and school board members. Let's give a round of applause for these students and everyone here to support them tonight. Our last student speaker for the night is Mr. Andre Chase, and he is going to introduce our last song for you. My name is Andre Chase. Our last song is one, of, one that we performed at our winter celebration concert and is one of our favorite pieces. Miss Morgan often hears us playing the melodies on our own as we get ready for class in the morning. It is a traditional African song that has conga drums and tambourine. It is titled African Oil. The music has lots of energy and is very upbeat, sure to make you smile. We hope you enjoy our last song, African Oil. Thank you for coming to our performance. It's so awesome to see so many people coming into the auditorium night uh, tonight to see some awesome music making. So this uh, officially wraps up our chorus in our elementary portion of the evening. We will now be taking a, um, about a 10 minute transition where we are going to strike this stage and set it up for the concert bands. So if you here, uh, are here for middle school and high school band, just be patient. We're gonna get set up as quickly as possible. Um, are you guys enjoying yourselves tonight? Awesome. I'd like to introduce the middle school band coordinator, Mr. Justin Reed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for coming to support our 2023 Music in Our Schools All-County Middle School Honor Band. My name is Justin Reed, and I'm the director of bands at Samuel S. Gaines Academy of Emerging Technologies. All right. I have had just the greatest pleasure facilitating and coordinating this middle school ensemble and all their hard work. Uh, to just kind of put it in perspective, I'm not gonna mess with it. Put it in perspective, we met yesterday at six o'clock for the first time to go through all this music. Uh, we rehearsed six to nine yesterday, and then we rehearsed 10.30 to five-ish today, and then we're putting the concert on. These kids have worked incredibly hard, and you should give them an amazing round of applause.
So as I said, I've been coordinating it, but I've been coordinating it with their amazing directors. So if you are a middle school director in the audience, if you could come to the front, that would be amazing to be recognized. Dr. Perry is going to go through them. Uh, at this time, I just ask that you silence all your cell phones and refrain from flash photography. Uh, and please welcome to the stage Dr. Kevin G. Perry. Good evening. On behalf of our awesome school board and our wonderful superintendent, Dr. John R. Prince, but most of all, the student musicians that are taking the stage tonight, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to our annual Music in Our Schools Month concert. This concert started some 20 years ago, and we took a break because of COVID, but we came back in this honor band style last year. We really do appreciate each of you, many of you, uh, our, our community overwhelmingly approved our referendum, which supports the arts, so it supports all these wonderful students that you see on stage. I would be remiss if I didn't take the opportunity to first welcome our representative from our school board tonight, our school board members. That's Ms. Debbie Holly. She's with us representing her colleagues as school board members. Please give Ms. Holly a round of applause. And representing the executive directors of schools tonight is Ms. Motoray Miller Buchanan. She's in the back. She supervises schools, a lover of the arts as well. As Mr. Reed mentioned to you, what you're about to witness is about nine, 10 hours worth of hard work. That's a testament to the skill level, skill level hard work, and professionalism of our students. It's also a wonderful testament to the skill, dedication, and knowledge of their awesome music teachers. Their awesome middle school music teachers are lined up over there, so give those great teachers a round of applause. It is because of their skill, knowledge, and the work that they do with these students, we're able to witness this annual Music in Our Schools Month concert. Whether you are a practicing musician or you're just a music lover, we appreciate you joining us tonight to celebrate and support the work of the, my colleagues and these students. So without further ado, we introduce to you our middle school, Music in Our School Month band, under direction first of Mr. Will Cromer. <laughs> moments and a lot of soft points, a lot of loud points, a whole lot of good stuff going on. So without further ado, please enjoy The Tempest. Thank you. 
Hello. Uh, I'm still Justin Reed from Sam Gaines. So the next piece that you're going to hear is a piece called Shadows Unleashed by Brian Balmages. Uh, it takes us, kind of starts really mysterious, and then as the shadow expands or becomes unleashed, uh, the piece becomes a lot more raucous. Uh, and then you're going to hear some vocal effects, but I'm going to tell a really funny story. So as we were going through our rehearsal yesterday, I'm doing score study, and I was like, I, I know if we read this piece, I'm going to be missing something. I can't find this part anywhere. Uh, and I'm going through the score, I'm going through the score, going through all the mallet parts. And then I realize that this piece has a piano part that is not covered by anyone else. So we have no piano player in the ensemble. Uh, so then I really quickly went, wait, Ms. Ramdahal plays piano. So the director from Forest Grove Middle School, Ambika Ramdahal, will be our featured pianist on this piece. I really hope you enjoy it. It is a very fun piece. Good evening. Uh, my name is Mr. Karam. I am the middle school band director at Lincoln Park Academy. Go Greyhounds. Uh, I am also the current and sometimes conductor of the Treasure Coast Symphony, so thanks for having me. Uh oh. We good? Uh, our last piece that the middle schoolers are going to perform for you has been a lot of fun to work on. We worked on it quite a bit over the last uh, today and yesterday evening. It's called Byzantine Dances. 
uh, by Carol Britton Chambers, who is a composer that lives in Texas and is becoming increasingly popular in middle school and high school bands uh, for her compositions. Uh, Byzantine Dances is, in is inspired by uh, and taken from the idea of the Mediterranean dances that happen around Turkey, uh, which is how it gets its name, so Byzantine for the Byzantine Empire, uh, which was based in Constantinople. So uh, it'll start with a fast dance, uh, and then in the middle you'll hear a slower style of Mediterranean dance, and at the end we come back to the fast dance, uh, and you'll see some Mediterranean style snapping from the kids, you'll see some clapping, so we hope you have fun with this, we definitely did, so we hope you enjoy. Welcome to the 2023 Music in Our Schools, uh, presented by St. Lucie Public Schools um, High School Honor Band Concert. Let's give them a big round of applause, please.
My name is Troy Wiley. I am the uh, high school band director at Port St. Lucie High School. Go Jags. Um, exactly. Um, I've been at Port St. Lucie High School now for seven years. Uh, well, I'm in my seventh year. Um, I'm a product of St. Lucie County Public Schools. I went to elementary school, middle school, and high school all in this county at uh, Lincoln Park Academy. Go Greyhounds. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's a very, very special treat for me to be here. And uh, thankfully, I had the fortune to be the high school band uh, coordinator and oversee the, the production of the high school band group that you're about to hear. Um, and it's been just a ton of fun. This group has worked about 10 hours or so, a little bit more, in the past two days. Um, and, and I think you're really going to be blown away by what you hear um, in the next few minutes, OK? Um, where are my troopers that have been here since the very, very beginning? All right, let's give them a round of applause, kids. They've been here since the choir concert. Oh, come on, you could do better than that. Awesome. Uh, so without, without further ado, I like to talk on a microphone, but I'm going to pass it over um, to someone who's near and dear to all of our hearts that's been such a wonderful um, worker for us in the past two years or so, uh, three, four years. He has secured brand new high school uh, marching band uniforms for all of the programs here in St. Lucie Public Schools. Um, and just this past year um, gave us a very, very large grant, um, secured that for us to where we all could buy brand new instruments uh, to outfit every single high school band program. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Kevin G. Perry to the stage. Good evening once again. It is my pleasure to welcome you here on behalf of our awesome superintendent, Dr. John R. Prince. We have a rich and storied history here in St. Lucie Public Schools of supporting the arts. Our community overwhelmingly passed a referendum, and in doing so, you supported the wonderful musicians that you see on stage. So let's give each other a great big round of applause. I am so excited to be up with this group as well because I'm an old high school band director, so this was my home as well with high school students. I believe that music positively impacts a child's academic and social life. So to each of you parents that have supported these wonderful musicians, thank you for believing in music also. We love the opportunity to showcase the music in our Schools Month concert. It's been in operation for about 20 years now. We took a break because of COVID, but was able to bring it back last year in the form that, that you see here. It gives us an opportunity to celebrate music at all levels, and now you're going to see what starts in elementary school and ends in high school. Before I do that, I would be remiss if I did not introduce to you our school board member that's joining us tonight representing her colleagues, Miss Debbie Holly. And our executive director that's representing her colleagues, the executive directors actually supervise schools. Mona Ray Buchanan, she's in the back. And I'm going to ask all of the high school band directors to step forward. Come on out, Mr. Albert, Mr. Host. I don't see Mr. Daniel. There he is, there he is. There they are. What you will witness tonight is the professionalism, the skill, the knowledge, the dedication, the hard work of these music teachers, but also these awesome student musicians. So without further ado, I present to you our middle school, our high school, I'm sorry guys, our high school, Music in Our School Must concert under direction first of Mr. Josh Daniels playing Refrigeration. Mr. Daniels. Refrigeration is a dynamic opener that is composed almost entirely in the uh, Phrygian mode. The Phrygian mode is the third mode of the major scale. It is named after the ancient Greek kingdom of Phrygian, 
or Phrygia, which existed around over 3,000 years ago. The composer Todd Sattler set out, the, set out to capture the essence of this unique mode and preserve the sound throughout, through the, throughout the duration of the piece. In this sense, the, Phryg the Phrygian mode is refrigerated and saved the, for the audience enjoyment. We hope you enjoy this exciting, uh, exciting, thoroughly, and totally unique performance for Todd Sattler's refrigeration. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the direct director of the bands at Fort Pierce Central High School, Mr. Joshua Daniels. <laughs> experience, memories. Remembrance is meant to allow the listener to think about their unique journey full of highs and lows. We hope you enjoy this beautiful piece of music and remember what it took for us to be here. I would like to welcome to the stage the director of bands of Port St. Lucie High School, Mr. Wiley.
Dear old Florida, we are yearning. We will fight for you. While our loyal hearts are burning, will it be ever true. Florida, Florida, bless her name. Orange and green will proudly wave. We will honor and protect you, sons and daughters brave. Sunscapes was commissioned by the Florida Band Masters Association for its 2017 Nine Star Honor Band. This great work represents the lively nature of the state of Florida. It opens with the brilliant and majestic lively nature of the state of Florida. The section is followed by following a melody that represents the calming winds and consistent breeze of the state. Dance is a large part of Florida's culture, especially its southern region. The 7-8 rhythm allows the piece to experience an Afro-Latin style dance movement. The choral hymn section is based on the Florida song, Lyrics Below, which is traditional school song of Florida AM University, located in Tallahassee. The work then re reverses itself until it arrives at the opening statement with a driving conclusion. Without further ado, please welcome Mr. Bobby Lee Ingram Jr. to the stage.
Fantasy on a Japanese Folk Song tells the story of a Japanese girl who was given a music box by her mother and father when she was just a child. This music box played the Japanese children's song, Sunayama. As a young girl, this music box always provided a sense of comfort and solace during her trying times. When she becomes an adult, she falls in love with an American and faces the choice of staying in her Japanese village or marrying and going back to America with him. She is so very much in love with him that she chooses to leave. However, she later realizes the need to feel close to her culture, and part of her always wonders if there was a life for her in her native Japan. As time goes by, the sense of conflict, which was more easily suppressed in the beginning, surfaces with more intensity, proving that only in a woman's heart there can exist an inner love and an inner war, war simultaneously. Balancing her love for her husband and with her love for the culture she left behind gives way to, to painful episodes. During these moments, her only method of coping with her circumstance is to lock herself away, open the music box given to her as a child, and at the sound of the very first note, to cry. Please welcome to the stage Mr. Albert of Lincoln Park Academy. <laughs>
Danzas cubanas son tres bailes en los estilos de la conga, el son salsa y el mambo. Esta pieza es una celebración de la música afrocubana y la belleza de esa cultura. Danzas cubanas is three dances in the style of the conga, son salsa and the mambo. This piece is a celebration of Afro-Cuban music and the beauty of that culture. The conga is a Latin American dance of African origin, usually with several people in a single line, one behind the other. The son and son salsa originates from the Latin word sonus, which denotes a pleasant sound, particularly a musical one. In Eastern Cuba, the term began to be used to refer to the music of the highlands towards the late 19th century. The mambo is a Latin American dance similar in rhythm to the rumba. Please enjoy Danzas Cubanas and welcome our conductor, Mr. Host from St. Lucie West Centennial High School.
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for these awesome directors and these wonderful students. Thank you for joining us for this year's Music at Our Schools Month's concert. We'll get our final directions from our coordinator, Mr. Wiley. I mean, let's keep clapping one more time, one more time. I'd like to, before, before we send everyone out of here, I'd like to just give a one more special thanks uh, to Dr. Kevin G. Perry and our school board here at St. Lucie Public Schools. Give it up for him, please. Also, I would be, um, I would be really uh, missing out on opportunity if I didn't thank Mr. Joshua Daniels and the incredible uh, uh, administration here at Fort Pierce High Central High School for hosting tonight's event. So, Mr. Daniels, give him a nice big round of applause. Thank you all so much for coming out to this night. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at the 2024 Music in Our Schools Honor Concert.